So, how did it all start? You're 19. Yeah, it's like it started um, like with a passion because I loved like sneakers and shoes in general. And at the time when I first saw the, of the brand, there were only like few um, like good material shoes, and they were like quite horrible, like Gucci Aces or Valentino Open opens at the time, so for probably 20, 2018 or 2017. Um, and I wanted to do like shoes with um, great quality, great materials uh, and great looks while being sustainable because at the time there was nothing like it so then it goes and it goes and I met Adrian that um, allowed me kind of, to, to launch my first collection at the Trading Museum and so uh, Let's here show I am. Me some pieces. Thank you. Show me the pieces. Yeah. This is the first sneaker I designed, so it's been a year since she first dropped. It's like, for me, the essence of a shoe that you could wear every day, that everyone could wear, and that is just like beautiful, good looking on any fit, and um, great material, so recycled nylon, layered, uh, organic uh, cotton, like um, it's uh, from France, it's all um, twilled in France. Like, so this one is really the first one, second iteration with the first one. And over there? The, this one we designed with a friend, actually. It's, um, she's called Strong because it was uh, all about making the power of the feet and expressing it into the form of the, into the shape of the shoe. So, like, it's a, in a constru uh, asymmetric construction, so it's made as a plaque. Like, um, into D and then mounted up to to look like really into to give this like force like a kick you know mm -hmm. like when you are kicking you have like this kind of you know and so it's like it's like this that it designs. That's great. But and over here. And what are you wearing on your feet? I'm wearing like mules. They are called massive, massive mules. Um, it's for spring summer 2022. And it's, it's like the same range kind of as the Derby and the Ballerine. And they are around here. All these are inspired by my grandma and grandpa's closet, like a shoe closet. And, and so I made this to this for like my grandpa always wear like many grandpa's um, Derby's all the time. So I designed them and then Ballerina also. That's for my grandma. Kind of. It was in the summer she always wore a ballerine. So I designed this one. And then next season we are doing like one is called Massive Jane and it's like a Mary Jane but a kind of updated and with new materials. So it's apple leather and canvas for this one with a recycled sole. This one is 100% uh, apple leather. This is like organic cotton. Um, there we have like a recycled fake thread, canvas, recyclable sole. Um, and what, did, what did you produce? In Portugal. Portugal. Everything in Portugal, yeah. We work with a very little uh, family owned business, uh, like factory, which is really cool and I really love it. Can I ask you when you said that they're recycled, this looks like a. Like a yeah, it's recolored. What do you mean? Like, did you, did you, then, this is for the, for the wheels of the car or what? This is recycled, it's the first regeneration of this kind of soles, like in TR, recycled, yeah. remelted, recolored, and then it's done a new one. Okay. So it's, I think for this one it's like 60% recycled, something like that. It's okay. between 50 and 60, I don't have the exact okay. in mind. And for the, the other one also, for the one that yeah, you Yeah, this, this sole, like we work with this new supplier, and this new supplier can, like, before we can only do like recy recyclable, and now we are doing recycled. And where did you, where did you can buy your shoes? Where, where you have a yeah, we, are, we have an e-shop that we are like, it's the beginning of it. And then we have a diversity market in New York, Los Angeles, uh, Ginza and, and Giza, yes. Then we have Essence that's launching soon. We have Addition Adelaide, LHP. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, just wanna, I just wanna ask about the price. How, how much is it gonna cost for a normal people if I wanna buy a, a pair of uh, how much? Retail. Retail. Retail, it's between 300 and like, for this season, it's between 300 and 420, depending on the complexity of the shoes and the complexity of the materials. 
and the, like we have also like this kind of thing that went last season, so the I song goes. It. It's, yeah. very, it's very interesting that one. Yeah, and it's like 240, and this is like uh, the upper is constructed with a uh, Lelièvre fabric. Can we okay. walk? Yeah, sure. Here? fabric that I found really interesting. I think it's like a lino mm -hmm. that you put on the ground. But I think I think when I see saw it I was okay this should go on a, like a, on the same shoes. So I like I spent all my vacations being young and still now in the south of France. And so in the summer I always have like for new shapes I always have these inspirations uh, came coming from the south of France. I know, which, I know, is, I know. Uh, which is like this. Which is like this we have an espadrille next season. Yeah. We have like many things. Uh, this, I like this a lot. Yeah, these are cool. Yeah. These also were, uh, I never found. Um, this, like, is, this is more like a street, I think you're with yeah, Alcantara. Street, yeah. Yes, like Alcantara. Yeah. At first we wanted to work with Alcantara, but like it's way too expensive. Yeah. And this shoe would like probably be in like for probably 800 or something like that. So not possible. So, yeah. but so this like, is the first to the second collection. Like this is the third, uh, this is the third collection actually. Really? Yeah. Already. 21. So um, you're 19 now, so when you were 18 when you started? I was, yeah, but the first collection launched when I was 18, but uh, yes, it started as I was 17. Like, and uh, when did you start thinking about designing? Like, it's been a long time because I had my, my first, the first time I like, um, I founded my first company uh, six years ago now. So I did like a scoot, spare scooter parts, like I was doing freestyle scooter in the skate parks, and I never found the right comp components for the for the for the spare parts for the scooter. So I wanted to create my own. And one day I said that to my mom and my dad, and um, they told me, yeah, well, come 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 back to us with like a real business plan and something. And the next day I was doing it. So. Wow! <laughs> I was starting it. I mean, you have like, incredible parents, and I think yeah, so I have incredible okay. parents. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, who believe in you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did. They, they let and me do. And yes, Andrew Jaffe is awesome. Bad. And this is your real name, Phil. Uh, this is yeah. It's a beautiful name. Yeah, it is. Yeah. They are quite creative. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, it means gem, uh, like I like. Ah, in uh, yeah. In, um, Yes, in, gr in Greek. In Greek. Yeah. So it was Great. kind Super. of poetic at the same time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Interested. We're gonna follow you more.